Hey guys, this is Crypto Marie. She does it all. Like I've always said, yes, my channel is about crypto, uh, the stock market. At the same time, if there was something I see that needs a light, you know, bring some light into it and talk about it, I'm also going to bring that, okay? So, I have two questions for you. The first one is, do you believe in a will? Are you going to live a will? And do you believe in living wealth for your children when you're no longer here? The reality is you need to know that none of us are going to be here forever. It's going to be a time, a day, just like when somebody, a woman is pregnant, when it's time to give birth. It doesn't matter when the doctor say you're going to give birth. It doesn't matter when you're supposed to have the baby. If it's time for the baby to be born, the baby will be born. And it's the same, same thing for death. When you're going to die, regardless if you're a healthy person or you're a sick person, you are old, young, it doesn't matter. And you have to put that in your mind. Yes, we are not here to live forever. So you might ask Crypto Marie, where are you going with this topic? Nobody seems to talk about it, but there's something that I feel like I think it's an important topic to talk about. I was watching something on The View last week where it says, uh, they were discussing among the ladies, what do you think? Because, um, and of course, I'm going to let you know, whatever I talked about, they are public workers. You can Google it. You could go through it. You're going to find the same information I find. It's not like I'm putting my nose into people's business. No, I Google, I do my homework, I do my research before I bring something to you guys. So I was watching the ladies discussing, okay, Anderson Cooper from CNN said he's not going to leave any wealth for his son. And I also read somewhere Warren Buffett also said he's not going to live wealth. Those are people with a lot of money. And I said to myself, is it a, a thing for people with a lot of money? Because as a middle class person, I've always said, listen, I work hard so my kids don't suffer. That my kids don't go through what I've been through. So if I were to win the lotto, if I were to come to some, you know, hardcore t cash, big time winning money, first thing will come to mind, making sure my kids are, sa are stable, their future are stable. Not, not everybody sees it that way, right? So, uh, Sonny Huston said, no, I'm going to live well, uh, well for my kids. I don't want them to suffer, you know? And I think Whoopi also agreed that she's going to live well, uh, wealth. Don't cut me on that. I always go back and watch the video and see and not everybody agrees on the table that they're going to live well for their children. So I said, okay, let me do a little homework and see which celebrity that had a lot of money died and did not leave any will. Because uh, if you don't leave a will and you have wealth, what's going to happen once, once you're no longer in this planet? It's going to be fight among the siblings or the family, auntie, uncle. So it's best to leave a will, say, okay, I want this portion for so-and-so, this portion for so-and-so, and this portion. I have four kids, I've always said 25 each, 25% 25 each. If my mother's still alive, may God bless her, I'll make sure she's taken care of, but my children come first. Because once you're dead, you don't need the money. What are you gonna do with it? But some, most of the rich people are gonna leave the money to charity, God bless them, that's fine. But to leave the kids with nothing, how do we expect them to live? I don't know. So let me give you a few. Like I said, this is public record. I go Google. You could do the same thing and find out who, why, when, and what happened to their cases. Those are a few of the celebrity that had money. Like White House says 28 celebrity who died without a will. It's surprising to know that so many famous musician actors and athletes have passed without leaving a will when fame and large sums of money um leaving a will when fame let me see forgive me i need to get back to keep track it says i involve you might expect those types of preparation to be made well in advance but a number of celebrities either passed or unexpectedly left behind. Uh, 
unexpectedly or left behind disputed documents some famous people who don't have wills had their estates divided amicably by family members but most celebrities who pass without will ended up having the right to their estate followed out in court for years you need to prevent that if you leave a will once you're no longer with us they will know what was your desire what you wanted to do with your money agreeably the most famous case on this list is michael jackson while jackson did in fact have a will it resulted in years of legal battle between his siblings and attorney john Branca and music executive john mccain who were named the executors of jackson estate similarly jimmy hendrix passed in 1970 without leaving a will provoking decades of legal fights between his family members in 2009. Uh, his siblings ended up in court over the right to the musician iconic image. All the celebrities who did not have a will include um, Amy Winehouse, Hef Ledger, and Prince. So they give about 28 celebrities or musicians or actors who died and did not live a will. They have Aretha Franklin is one of them. Uh, Michael Jackson is another one, like I mentioned before. Um, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, the President of the United States, did not have a will. Isn't it amazing? Prince did not have a will. And Kurt Cobain did not have a will. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr. did not have a will. Isn't it amazing? Knowledge is power. So much you can learn when you when you find out information. Amy Winehouse did not have a will. I know she died young, but it's always good to have a will. Jimi Hendrix did not have a will. Tupac Shakur did not have a will. Yeah, it's 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 amazing. Heath Ledger did not have a will. But Molly did not have a will. It's, it's just getting really the list getting really crazy. Howard Hodges, Hodges did not have a will. And I have to go to the next page to see who else did not have a will. Look, same thing I did, I Google, this is public information. You can always go back and Google the same information. Okay, let's see. Okay, well, it did not give any more people. So you could just go back and find out. And the lesson of the story leave a will if you have children if you don't have children leave a will um, if what you want to leave for mom what you want to leave for dad brother sister uncle your favorite cousins if you want to leave something for them leave a will because if you don't leave a will it's going to be a fight why you want to bring the courthouse and family affair that's not right so think about it now think about it now leave a will do your research how do you go by leaving a will for when you no longer here? Nobody is here forever. We're not going to live here forever. And some people die unexpectedly. Take care of this now so you don't have, they don't have, the family member don't have to fight for years to go to court to see how much you're going to give this, how much you're going to give that. So that's the lesson for the day. Live a will. Now, the other part, do you believe in, do you believe in living well for your kids or your family members? Do you believe in that? And if so, how much are you planning to live? Because I've seen a lot of people live debt for their children instead of living a wealth. You know, that's why now stop spending money in expensive stuff, build wealth. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you what to do. But if you invest, you could build wealth like that. If you buy a house, that's something, you know, stop buying. Because when you buy something expensive, you put it on, and the minute you remove it, it worth nothing. You wash it or you throw it away. Or you die, they throw it in the garbage, they give it to Salvation Army, something happened. What? But if you buy a house, the children can live in the house or they can sell the house and share the money. So those two topics, do you believe in a will? 
live a well live well for your children because a lot of famous rich people don't believe in so we're gonna have a part one and part two but this is part one we're gonna have a part two more research i do on it to know why people don't want to live well for their family member like i've been working so hard to take care of my kids and if god were to bless me with some money somehow in the future i want my children to be able to have a better life a better future than i did i don't want them to struggle like me that's my perspective on that subject and we're going to discuss that more may god bless you when life give you lemon make lemonade out of it have a great day